Hey there YouTube, I'm back again and I've been getting asked a lot of questions by people wondering what my all day vape coil is and wondering how to do such nice center post builds. And in this video I'm going to show you all what my main coil that I use is and how to get those nice bends in your coil legs so you can get that nice center post build. Now the main coil that I use is Izzy's Beast Build and I've already done a tutorial slash review on the Beast Build done on a 1 8th bit but lately I've been trying it on a 5 64th bit and it's a lot hotter vape but it's a I really like it it's it's been great lately Alright, so what we're going to do, as usual, we're going to dive down and get on into it. Okay, so tools you're going to need. First off, we will be wicking with peaches and cream cotton yarn. We will need wire cutters. Any size needle nose pliers you'd like. A bigger set of needle nose pliers. 22 gauge canthal an ohm reader and scissors or shears okay so what you'll use 22 cage canthal I got 50 feet here from lightning vapes it's an amazing deal it's really cheap and it works very well so what you're gonna do or what I like to do I like to go ahead and unravel it once just get one wrap of it all the way around clip it so you got two pieces one piece what I like to do is get all the bins out of it just make it perfect straighten it out a little more get your wire cutters find about the center of it and that's about perfect. You got your micro screwdriver kit right here. What I like to do, I use the two millimeter screwdriver. It's about equivalent to a 564th drill bit. Best way I like to wrap it, get a little extra, pinch it in the very end of the pliers. Get it just like so. I'll leave enough to room where you've got legs there and enough up here so you can wrap it with. Then what I like to do, get a real nice tight grip on it. Put the screwdriver where the base of it is sitting about where it folds. Get the end where the screwdriver meets the canthal right there. The base of the screwdriver, shit. And so anyway, what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and get one wrap, almost about one wrap. And then what I like to do, just get that coil tight, I like to grab these pliers and pull it real tight. Get that wrap real nice. Then go ahead, you're going to do one, right, this, is the, this is the third you're going to go ahead, bend it around there. Then, once you get it about there, you're going to want these wraps nice and tight. You're going to pull it, make it real tight. Sorry, y'all, I'm not used to building on cam very much. I'm going to get better at this, though. Then, you got four wraps there. Make that just a little bit tighter. 
then get your fifth wrap in there. Got one, two, three, four, five. Just want it to look just like that. It wraps nice and tight. Then what you're gonna do, you're gonna get your screwdriver and you're gonna get your pliers and squish it down really tight. Then what you're gonna do, you're gonna grab the coil with the pliers right under the coil and you're gonna kinda twist so it'll even those legs out. And then so it'll look like that but they're nice and even right on each other. Then you're gonna push it down a little bit more make sure it's nice and tight again. Then you're gonna bend that leg just a little bit. Then if they're a little bit off from being completely straight with each other, you're gonna bend them just a little bit, just like that. Now we're gonna straighten these legs up with the pliers. Okay, on the shortest leg, what you're gonna do is you're gonna bend the opposite direction of the coil. But how you're gonna do that, you're gonna grip down on the very base of it, right like that, with as far down the pliers as you can go. And you're gonna push in while you're twisting to the side. Okay, so you want it to look like that. Just nice and perfect like that. You're gonna slide the nose of the pliers in that bend just like that. Right where it's bent to the side, not where it's bent in front of the coil. So you're gonna want it to look just like that. And then once you're gonna do that, you're gonna bend this leg out like this. So it zigzag shapes. So it'll look just like that. Then what you're gonna do, you're gonna push it tight again. I'm gonna flip the coil so the nose of the twi the nose of the pliers don't bend it up. You're gonna push it real nice and tight again. Okay, so you want it to look like that. Just like that. And then what I like to do just to where it comes in even, I like to grab the bigger pliers and straighten those legs out just a little bit more. So after that, you want it to look exactly like that. And if you want, you can go ahead and bend this post in as well, but you're gonna bend it the same direction that you bent that one. Then, so what you're gonna do for that, is you're gonna do the same thing. You're gonna grab it with these pliers and you're gonna bend inward towards the coil. You're gonna bend inward just like that. So you want it to look like that. And you're gonna bend this leg out straight forward again. So it's gonna look like that. And then you clean it up and just do a nicer job with it. Okay, so what you're gonna do after you end up with two coils, you're gonna install them, then you're gonna clip the leads. And you're gonna use the mini screwdriver to push them over the direction that the bends are bending just a little bit push it towards the center 
what space isn't left in and you're gonna leave the the drill bits in then after that you're gonna pull the drill bits down till each end of the drill bit is touching the deck you're gonna do all this once you clip your leads then so you're gonna go ahead pull these drill bits out and it should end up looking something like this then what we're gonna do we're gonna pulse and pinch before we pulse and pinch you're gonna need your small pliers I like to use the small ones instead of instead of tweezers and so you're just gonna keep pushing it remember use a battery that's it's about dead not about dead but not a freshly charged battery because you'll end up popping your wire you're going to want those coils heating up evenly starting from the center just like that and if they're not heating evenly go back tighten them make sure they're completely tight and check them again perfect just like that so what you're going to do when it's heating perfectly, you're going to let it cool down for a minute, and then we're going to check the ohms, and then we're going to wick it. Okay, so of course my ohm reader isn't working. So what we're going to need to wick it, you're going to need a tiny little piece of canthal, and you're just going to bend it in half, like so. And then... You're going to cut some peaches and cream cotton yarn. I usually cut about a foot of it, even though you won't need it, and you'll end up wasting some, but it's always good to be safe and sorry. I don't have to cut any more. So what you do, bend it in half, cut it like that. So each piece should be about six inches long. What you're going to do is you're going to get your canthal, that you bent in half. I like to use 28 gauge. And here in the center of the peaches and cream, you're going to put it and slide it where that canthal bends. So you're going to be holding it like that. So you're going to be holding the peaches and cream with the canthal. So what you're going to do, you're going to hold the canthal tight, then you're just going to thread it through your coil. You're going to pull tight. What I like to do, just twist it up to where kind of one head of the thread is on the bottom and one's on the top. So now that you've got that, we're going to do it with this other piece. Twist it a little bit, make sure one side's sitting on top, one side sitting on bottom. You're going to take your canthal out. I like to keep the same piece of canthal, so I just put it in my micro screwdriver set. And what you're going to do is you're going to cut the loops on each side. So what you're going to do there got this crazy looking wick here you're going to fluff them out kind of like that and you're going to cut it I need to get some new scissors 
gonna cut that side a little uneven. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pull that out, and make it even. You're gonna do the other side. Adjust it. Gonna hold it there. Damn, I really do need new scissors. You're gonna get that side. Do the same thing. Okay, you're gonna get your scraps. Okay, so what what I like to do, you're gonna get these two leads that are on the top, and you're gonna pull them upward. You're gonna wick them upward into a V shape. And you're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Then, you're gonna take these bottom leads and you're going to tuck them under there but leave an air pocket you just want them sitting in the deck you don't want them sitting there blocking under the coil because you want an air pocket under the coil and that's what's going to give it the best airflow and give it the best option you need Then so, then so once you've got those bottom wicks tucked in, you've still got the top ones. And so what I like to do is get about a, find an even ground for them and just cut them like so. What you're going to do, you just kind of once again pull them into V-shape. I like to lean them kind of up against the screws. like so. So we're gonna take this off of the ohm reader that doesn't work. We're gonna put it back on the mod. And we are gonna see how she vapes. Okay so this wicking style is my absolute favorite. It works so well and this peaches and cream cotton yarn it keeps the wick wet for a lot a lot longer than it normally would with regular cotton this is a 50 50 juice and what I like to do I like to run the juice down these ends this is the best way to do it you just run a couple drops down through there and it wicks it straight to the coil because when you drip on these ends it runs straight to it now that's that's soaking wet and it's gonna stay that way for a lot longer than it would with regular cotton so anyway got a fresh battery in here fresh build all juiced up Kind of overjuiced it a little bit. It's damn good. It's damn good. I did get some juice in my mouth though. According to Dr. Oz, that would kill you. And I'm at zero neck now. Even if it was, I've got juice in my mouth so many times in the last several years, it's never done anything. Maybe got my tongue a little tingly, but that's it. Now, I am not advocating going and putting juice in your mouth. It's, it's terrible, and it can hurt you. And even with zero nick, I wouldn't do it. As you can see, this thing's hitting like a champ. Even after I fixed the AR, it's still wet. It's still ready to go. I could probably get another three or four hits off this. Kind of overplayed that, maybe two. Maybe two or three.
and it was just now starting to get a little burnt. And like I said, it stays for quite a while. And anyway, big shout out to Izzy. Big shout out to Mike Martinez using his fluid from demented liquids like a sir and pouring geography. It's amazing. It's like this orange flavor with pomegranate and some menthol. I'm not even a menthol fan anymore, and it's it's amazing. Every menthol hater that I've let try it loves it. And anyway, so y'all be safe. Try this build out. Vape on.